I believe this is part 12 and I'm back and playing. A few people had already gathered at the dining hall by the time I got there. <laughs> Hello Makoto and good morning. Can you believe it? I was the very first one here this morning. <laughs> Ruffle Mao, good morning. Hey Makoto. Morning. I suppose I'm early. I figured everyone who had arrived on time could be co considered model high schoolers. And the ones who showed up a little late. Yo! Yo, dudes. Sorry! Sorry I'm late. My makeup just would not cooperate with the, me this morning. Ah, well, hello. My apologies, ladies and gentlemen. My morning. <clears throat> duty took a little longer than usual. Where the types with a more relaxed sense of time, most high schoolers fall into this category. And finally, the ones who kept everyone waiting forever. Indeed. I suppose... I suppose I'm late? <laughs> Good morning, everyone. I'm Celeste. My bad, my bad. My bad, guys. Slept right through my alarm, lol. Your problem. What is what is it so awful to be li 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 late? Yo, I didn't oversleep. Just so you know. Nope, got lost. I blame the Bermuda Triangle. Don't care about time or other people in general. They are the kind to move at their own pace. But regardless, everyone had arrived. At least that's how it was supposed to go. Hmm. Hmm. Aren't we missing some people? Uh. Yeah, Soki and Boki are not here yet. I don't know about Boki, but I will definitely put Sayaka in the model high schooler category. So for her to be so late... Hmm. What? what is going on? Did something happen? Yo. Hey man, have you seen Psycho? Why would I have? I just came straight from my room to here. Um. Did she forget about our breakfast promise? However... I got the sense she always has her stuff together. Listening to everyone talk like that, a small dark speck of her knees rose up inside of me. And that speck started to grow quickly. I need to go, dudes. I have to go check on Psycho. The words had barely left my lips before I flew out into the hall. Where I had it first was my room, where I let Sayaka stay for a single night, where she was supposed to be safe, but over the course of that one night... Wow, what happened in my room, bro? The room had been completely transformed. What the hell, you? Oh boy, the key. Is this my key? There is a keychain on the ground. It has my name on it, so this must be my room key. I gave it to Psycho when we traded runes. This is the replica sword I brought back for self-defense. It's been taken out of, out of its sheath. There's Sayaka, but she is not here. Maybe she is in the bathroom. Taking a number two. I'd better check the bathroom. Let's uh, take a look inside. So cute. What happened? Your blood is pink. Why is it pink? It took me a second to realize that I was screaming. What I saw dug its way through my eyes and buried, it, buried itself in my brain. And then, and then, everything went black and pink. Oh no, did someone kill her, my Sogi? My Sayaka, my Psycho. I cannot believe this happened. When I opened my eyes, I found myself staring at a huge ceiling. It was a ceiling I remembered seeing before. And when I sat up, I saw someone looking at me. Again, it was someone I'd seen before. Whoa, what am I doing here, bros? Ah, ah you are awake, finally. Are you okay? No. Yeah. Now's no time for sleeping. Get your 
ass up. What? Um, you were unconscious, dude. I had to carry you back here, bro. Well, it's no surprise considering what happened. What happened? Oh no, so key. Grill. Um. Hey, you okay, bro? So it wasn't a dream. What I saw, it was a reality. Hmm. That's right, it really did happen. Sayaka is dead. No way, dude. A deep dark despair worked its way through my body and then exploded out of me. I shot up and took off running. Hey, where do you think you're going? I have to see for myself. I have to see if Psycho is... If Psycho is... Just give up. You can check once, twice, a thousand times. Sayaka is completely and irre irrevo irrevocably dead. No, I have to say. Why? Why? Listen to us, man. What do you think's gonna happen if you go out there? Well, what good is it if gonna just do? Just sitting around here, dudes. I mean, why are we all hanging out in the gym at a time like this? Our friend Psycho, she's she's daughter dude. Daughter, when I said that it finally hit me. I realized she was gone. Calm down. None of us want to be here right now either. Then why? Shouldn't that be it be obvious? Monokuma, he told us all to come here. Well hold on, don't talk like that. We all protested it. I mean, we remember the terrible price Psycho had to pay, but so... I'm the one who convinced them to come. Right now, we need to do whatever he says. We are his prisoners, right? It's not a good idea to defy him without a reason. Correct. We don't need to make any more sacrifices than we already have. Good idea thinking thing. Why should we listen to anything he has to say? Hmm. It's obvious he's the one who killed Psycho. Wrong. I will never do that. If you can believe anything, you can believe that. <laughs> he is here again. Hey, um. Unless someone violates a school regulation, I will absolutely not interfere. I can promise you, I won't do anything that goes against the purpose of your school life here. I'm famous at safari parks throughout the world for following the bear times one rule. But, but... But then who did it? Who killed her, my psycho? Come on! You already know the answer. The one who killed her is one of you. Nobody had a reply for that. One of us killed psycho? Don't be stupid, that's... Wah -wah? Hmm, what is the matter? You guys all look like you're about to see a dove get shot up with a Gatling gun. <laughs> Don't you remember what I told you when this all began? One of you decided to kill Psycho so that you, could, you could graduate. Someone's just following the rules. There's nothing wrong with that. Well... You are lying, right? Of course he's lying. I'm telling you, he killed her. Wrong. No, one of you is now a bona fide killer. If they wanted to, the one who did it could testify to that little fact. What? Without thinking, I looked around at everyone. They all had the same look on their faces. Everyone looked at each other with a combination of fear, suspicion, and confusion. Uh, um... Are you seriously, dude? What? What someone, someone killed someone. Oh my god. It is amazing what some people are capable of. Just hold on. Hey, hold on. Don't assume that he's telling the truth. Stop talking. That is enough, dudes. I'm me. Before we do anything else, I'd like to confirm something with a stuffed animal here. <laughs> if one of us really did kill her, that person gets to graduate from the school, right? What? Come on. Don't play dumb. That's what you said, isn't it? If you kill someone, you get to leave. <laughs> poo hoo hoo, poo hoo hoo. <laughs> ba ha 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 ha. He 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 ho ho ho. What? 
Why are you laughing? <laughs> to who? It's cause... Knife. You are just so naive. You think it's really that easy that you can just kill someone and waltz out of here? Hey, you are super naive. Now. Devilishly naive. Hellishly navi naive. No, the real thing has just begun. The real thing? Now then. Are you ready? Allow me to explain the second part of the rule regarding graduation. Just like I explained before, you must kill someone if you want to leave. However, even if you do that, there's still one more part to the agreement you have to uphold, remember? Then perhaps... Mm, are you referring to rule number six of the school regulations? If you are the blackened that committed the murder, you can't be found out by the other student, though. That is what you are talking about, is it not? Yes, Celeste, 100% correct. In other words... Bingo! It's not enough to kill, just kill someone. You have to actually... Whoa! I'm sorry. Get away with it. Which naturally means you need to have a system in place to assess whether or not it's been gotten away with. So a certain amount of time after a murder has taken place, a class trial will begin. A class trial. Hmm. Yep, it will begin a few hours after the murder. Everyone will gather together, including the blackened who committed the murder. They and the spotless students will all engage in one big debate showdown. One big debate showdown. Wow. During the trial, you'll have to present your arguments about who you think the blackened is. And once everything comes to an end, the outcome will be decided by popular vote. If the answer you've arrived at is correct, only the one that disturbed your peace will be punished. The rest may continue their communal life. However, if you choose poorly, then the one who got away with murder will survive, and the rest of you will receive your punishment. Which of course means your school life will come to an end. As far as class trial rules go, that's all there is to it. Thank you for explaining. Well. So what exactly is this punishment you keep talking about? Hmm. Well, to put it simply, what? execution. Yeah. Execution? What? And by execution, you mean dider doder? Uh. Execution is execution. 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 Electric chair. <laughs> Poison gas. <laughs> Torn apart like a paper plane in a hurricane. Okay. <laughs> So to make sure I understand, if we get the culprit right, then only they die. But if we get it wrong, we all get execution and hit it. Well done. What a smart little chimpanzee you are. Look at you, implying you didn't do it without actually saying it. So it's basically what the outside world calls a lay judge system or an inquisition type thing. Which means you'll be deciding who you think the killer is. Hmm. But judge carefully, because all your lives are on the line. Uh -huh. Okay, let me just add the rule I just described to your handbook. Make sure to keep it in mind. The new rule has been added to the regulations menu. Hey. Wait, hold on a second. The hell are you talking You are freaking insane, you know that. Huh? What do you mean, bro? A class trial? What the hell is that? Is that a trial with a class in it? I don't want anything to do with a class trial. What's this? Why not? Stop it! What do you mean, why not? Why do I have to waste my time trying to figure out who murdered someone? What? what? Are you saying you're not gonna participate in this trial? Only punishment awaits such blasphemy. The hell are you talking what? about? What? Punishment? I don't know, I might throw you in a deep, dark, scary prison or something. Shut the hell up! Shut the hell up! Say whatever you want. I'm not gonna be part of this. I don't believe it! What? Don't be so selfish. Stop it! 
You're the one being selfish. Kill whatever you want, it's got nothing to do with me. The evil standing here before me, I'm trembling with fear. But I won't give in to such evil. It's my style to stick it out and resist till the very end. If you really want to get out of here, you'll have to go through me first. As he said that, he came charging at us, although it was more of a rattle. But then... Yeah. Chunky, go kill him! Are you enjoying yourself now? Are you? Huh? Huh? Violence against Headmaster Monokuma is not allowed! You violated a school regulation! Careful, Chunky, you can't violate the school regulation. I invoke the mighty summon spell! Help! To me, godly spear, Gunnier! Well, Chunky, watch out! There's a thing sticking out through your body, dude. Chunky? Are you okay, Chunky? <laughs> You okay, Chunky? It looks like you got penetrated in many different parts of your body. This wasn't supposed to... Why me? Suddenly, right at the end, her eyes shut wide open. And just like that, she never moved again. I can't believe you done this no to way. Chunky. What the... I don't. This cannot be real. No way. Way. Well, now. now I am painfully aware of the great power and meaning of a promise. I really wanted to keep a corpse from popping up for no good reason, you know? <laughs> but I guess you all needed to be taught a lesson, after all. Ah, what an amazing promise. Well, now you guys understand. What happened to Chunky? What might happen? Chunky, no. No, Chunky. Hello. Now you see just how serious I am. Oh, very serious. I'm s Defy me and you get shot full of holes, exploded, buried alive, disintegrated, etc. Or speared. So, if you don't want that to happen to you, you best obey those school regulations. Ah, oh, school regulation. See what happened, Chunky. You didn't listen. Junkie's body had been impaled with a bunch of spears. An unbelievable amount of blood started pouring out of her body. It was the first time I've ever seen the moment someone's life came to an end. Nobody there could deny what they'd seen. Junkie, who until just a second ago had been our friend. She is a dead. She died it. She bemoiled it. In simple terms, it was the death of a human being. It's really not a, all that shocking. She just died, that's all. Just went and died. It's no more remarkable than the inevitable demise of the entire human race. It's just as natural as the eventual end of the world itself. <laughs> this isn't some superhero comic, so it's not like when you die, you didn't really die. This is a reality. Very funny. Why? Why did you have to kill her? Didn't you say you would put her in prison or something? Hmm. But I changed my mind, bro. No, you've been wanting to kill this entire time. Say what? Kill this entire time? Don't be silly. You can't kill time. Lol. Or are you being metaphorical? Are you saying I wanted to waste time this whole time? What? Yeah. Hmm. Come on. Why are you taking me for? I'm Monokumi. Well now. Anyway, none of that matters right now. I have something I'd like to give you to help you in your search for the black one. This little file has all the information I've gathered about the death in question. I like to call it. It's the Monokuma file. Wow, the Monokuma file. I mean, naturally, you guys aren't experts at this kind of thing, so you can only do so much with a corpse. So instead, I've gathered up everything I know about the circumstances and cause of death. What's that? How do I know the cause of death, you ask? Because the surveillance cameras picked up the whole thing. I gotta see it all go down. So then. 
Wait, so then you know who killed Psycho? <laughs> of course I do. If I didn't, I couldn't possibly pass a fair and accurate judgment during the trial now who died. Correct. That is a good point. The judge has to be able to make the proper decision. That's somehow comforting. Well? Then, please put your full effort behind your investigation. After all, you don't have any choice but to give it your best shot. Seriously, you don't have a choice, bro. Okay, so we'll meet up for the class trial in a little while. Bye. And with that, Monokuma disappeared once again. He left us stunned and confused. He left us at a total loss. He left us with Junkie's dead body growing colder right in front of us. Junkie? And for who knows how long, nobody said a word. Not even Junkie, because she's dead. The fact that Psycho and Junkie were dead was a huge shock, of course. But there was more to it than that. It was also the idea that one of us had actually murdered someone. Who dare murder Junkie? It was Monokuma. <laughs> and that if we didn't find out who it was, we would all die here. We'd found ourselves in a situation where we couldn't have but look at each other with an open suspicion. It was the worst situation imaginable. And yet even in such a perversely terrible situation, she didn't show the slightest hint that it had gotten to her. Hey. Now's no time to wallow in your depression. The worst thing we can do right now is lose all faith in each other. That will lead to the same disastrous result as having total faith in everyone else. What? What? In other words... Cooperation is absolutely key at this point. Who you decide to trust or not trust is of course up to you. <laughs> Continuing to think about and talk about the deceased certainly isn't going to help anyone. Saying stuff like that is just... How many times have I told you anyone who can't adapt will die? Death is the only thing awaiting those who are unable or unwilling to adapt. Yeah, Celeste, you are so smart. Almost as smart as me. I'm million IQ prone. <laughs> if that happens, you, can, you will only have yourself to blame. What an awful thing to say, Celeste, especially after what's happened to Junkie. Just a second. Right now, exposing the killer is the most important thing. Because if we don't, we're all going to die together. Okay. She's right, we need to begin our search right away. Of course. Hmm. Either way, we can't run away from the situation. So we have no choice but to move forward. We just have to do it, I guess. What other choice do we have? <laughs> no way in hell am I letting someone kill me. Alright, damn it, let's do this. We just have to do it, baby. Everyone kept repeating that sentiment. They were using it like a mantra to give the assemblers uh, strength. But they're right, we just have to do this. No matter how much we don't want to, we have no choice. If that's what it takes to survive, then that's what we have to do. On top of that, there was something I needed to find out. I needed, had to know why Psycho had to die. Why she had to be the one. I'm terrified to find out, but still, I have to know. Otherwise, I knew I'd never be able to accept her death. Which is why. I don't have any choice, I have to do this. Hello everyone. Many, many 